Hello everyone. Emacs is a great editor as it comes out of the box, but by adding only a few packages, you can make it a powerful C++ editor, almost like an IDE. In these two videos, I'm going to show you um, a bunch of packages that you can install. In this video specifically, we're going to install um, autocomplete, autocomplete C headers and YAS snippet uh, using the package mode. Um, these three packages will give us the ability to autocomplete on method and function names and also the header names. And YAS snippet will give us the ability to expand snippets such as while snippet or for snippet uh, on the fly. Let's get going. Let's start Emacs and open .emacs file. It is in our home directory. Require package will start package mode as Emacs starts. We will be using Milpa archive. So we add its web address to the package archives with the add to list command. And then we type package initialize to initialize package mode. Let's restart Emacs. Package mode is installed. Command X package list packages will show us the package list. Let's start the C++ file, temp cpp. And let's try typing while. When I type well and nothing happens, no suggestions, there's no magic here. Let's go back to our package list. Let's hit Control S, type autocomplete to search for it. Once we find it, let's type I and then let's type X. Package installed autocomplete package to our Emacs. Let's go to that Emacs file. Let's add require autocomplete. This will start autocomplete package every time we start Emacs. Uh, we need to set up some default config on autocomplete. So we need to add require autocomplete config and we need to call AC config default. It will set up the default config for autocomplete so that it will work for all the languages. Now look at this magic. As I type while, it already started suggesting me while. And if I hit tap, it will autocomplete it to while. But there is more magic than this. Now let's install Yas snippet. Let's go back to our package list. Let's search for YAS snippet. When we find it, let's hit I and then X. It installed the packages. As we have done before, let's go back to that Emacs file and we need to add a bunch of functions here. Require YAS snippet will start YAS snippet as Emacs starts and YAS snippet global mode one will make sure YAS snippet is always on. Let's go back to our C++ file temp CPP and check this out. When I hit tap on while, it creates the template. It creates the snippet for while loop. And now when I do it for for loop, it gives me two options for I or for. Now for I, expand it into this snippet. C out, expand it into this snippet. And vector, expand it into that snippet. Uh, main expands into this snippet. All I have to do is to type main and then hit tap. Now let's take this code back into the main loop and then delete the rest. Um, I'm going to write some real code here so that we can play with the rest of the uh, packages that we're going to install, uh, the other goodies that's going to coming up. Let's install autocomplete C header. Now let's take a look at it. When I try to include float.h, this doesn't work. It doesn't autocomplete. Autocomplete doesn't recognize my header files. Well, thank God there exists a package for this too. Let's go to package list and search for autocomplete C headers. It's auto-complete-c-headers. Let's hit I and X. It will install the package. And let's go back to our dash, uh, dot .emacs file. And we will need to add a bunch of things here. Uh, first, we're going to define a function that initializes autocomplete C headers every time uh, we start a C, C++ file. We're going to use this macro called defun and define a function, uh, my ACC header in it. And this is a name I just came up with. You can use anything. And now we're going to call require autocomplete C headers. Every time this function is called, autocomplete C headers will be started. We also add this line, add to list AC sources, AC source C headers, which makes um, autocomplete C headers to look into the C headers. It's a config uh, line. Then I'm adding a hook to the C++ mode to call my function. And I'm adding the same hook to C mode. And it will call my ACC headers init function. Let's go ahead and restart Emacs and load our temp.cpp file. Let's try to autocomplete float. I'm hitting tab here and nothing is happening. It's not working. It's not working because we haven't told Emacs 
where our system header files are. So we type this command and hit enter and it will tell us where our header files are. As you can see they are in user local include and this long one is the Xcode one. This is where Mac keeps C++ header files. Let's open our .emacs file and we need to add this variable here. Uh, add to list AC, AC head include directories, the value of the directory where our header files are. Let's restart Emacs so the changes can take effect. Open our C++ file and take a look at this. I type FL and then hit tab. It completes it to float.h. And I can find any system headers here. This is just magic. Thank you for watching. Uh, we're going to continue with a few more packages in the next episode. Meanwhile, I have a link down under the video for the .emacs file we've been working on and for the versions of the packages I've installed. Thank you very much. Happy coding.